These are the ASUS BD4 Wi-Fi mesh routers. And today we're going to see if they're any good. Previously, I've been using the Amazon Eero Wi-Fi mesh routers. So I'm gonna use this as a baseline test comparison. I wanna see how these stack up against the competition. So here are some baseline tests. In my current setup, I have a router right next to our modem in our bedroom. Then opposite bedroom one, I have my gaming PC plugged directly into the second mesh router. We then have the third one set up in the living room. In this video, I'm doing four comparison tests. I'll put the screenshots on the screen so you can see our baseline. Here we have the bedroom test, the gaming PC test, us sitting on the couch in the living room test, and then finally, we have the backyard test where I go all the way to the shed to really test out the range. These are our baselines, so let's jump into the unboxing setup and then run through the tests. Also, big thank you to ASUS. While they haven't paid me to make this video, they did send the product out for free, which makes this comparison video possible. You're still gonna get my honest thoughts, so let's hope this is a good product. Let's start with what's in the box. You have the three mesh routers, a set of instructions, and don't throw this out. It looks like just cardboard packaging, but it's got the actual cables and charges that we need in here. One thing I always like to cover is the onboarding experience. Can anyone do it? Or do you need a bachelor's degree in computer science to figure this out? Looking at the instructions, it seems pretty straightforward. Reboot your modem, plug the device in and turn it on, and then download their app. Let's go do it. Our modem is right behind our bed, so I've got it there. And we've got our main unit. Make sure it's the main unit that you are plugging into your modem. Plug the ethernet cable in. Give it some power. And press the little button to turn it on. I've done the same for the second and third unit as well. Now we're going to download the ASUS app and continue with the setup. There's a QR code on your instructions that you can just scan to take you directly to the correct app. This is the app we want, ASUS Router. We're gonna go ahead and install it. We're presented with their welcome screen. We can go ahead and click Set Up. The BD4 is part of their Zen Wi-Fi series range, so I'm gonna click on that one. I'm gonna select OK. It wants you to turn Bluetooth on. It wants us to use a QR code scanner to scan the QR codes that are on the main router. I'm gonna quickly do that and come back. The QR code scanning is quite nice. Now it wants us to set up the other two devices which we've already done. It wants them within three meters of each other. I'm not sure why it wants it so close together. I'm just gonna click next. Now, realistically, I have these devices probably about five to 10 meters apart. So now I'm gonna go next, get started. We're going to go skip. It wants us to set up our SSID and password. This is the name of our Wi-Fi network. Now I'm going to reuse the previous Wi-Fi network name that I had, which is home-wi-fi. And I'm going to use the same network password in hopes that all of my devices will just continue to work as they previously did on my old routers. This will be a good test. One thing I like about ASUS devices is it gives you customization options. Right now, if we want, we can separate out our Wi-Fi network. So we can have one dedicated to the 2.4 gigahertz network, and we can have another one for the five. Right now, I'm gonna keep it as a single network and just have my devices automatically select the best band. Okay, that's good to know because these Wi-Fi routers use Wi-Fi 7, which is one of the newer technologies. It gives you some of the best speeds possible, but older internet connected devices like this vibration sensor may not work correctly with the newer standard, which is what this is telling us to set up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It then gives you the option to change your admin username and password. I'm gonna keep it as the default that came with the router. And I think 
we're done. Hopefully that's it and then we can run the speed tests. We're going to run the firmware update. Okay, it wants us to connect to Wi-Fi, which it's automatically done because we use that same network SSID and password. My mobile phone was automatically able to connect to the router. And in the meantime, I can already see that my MacBook Pro has automatically connected to the Wi-Fi. Some things to note, doing the firmware upgrade and the network optimization does take a little bit of time. So factor in about 15 to 20 minutes of setup time. But apart from that, setup was pretty straightforward. I would give this about an eight out of 10. Pretty easy, anyone can set it up. It was really nice having those QR codes, both to download the correct app, but also to connect to the main router. Not having to type usernames and passwords that are like 20 characters long just saves a ton of headache. And the entire process was straightforward. Taking a look at their app quickly, we've got a high level overview of our network. We can see what devices are currently connected and the state of our devices. So I can see that there are updates available for my other devices. I'm gonna go ahead and kick those off. And for parents, there are also family controls. So you can allocate certain devices to a profile and what that will do is block certain websites or content based on the category they're in. And you can take it a step further with parental controls where you can shut off internet access entirely after a certain time. So if you want your kids to go to sleep at say eight o'clock, you could cut the Wi-Fi connection to their devices. Pretty handy. Now, personally for me, I much prefer doing it through my Google account. That way it doesn't just block Wi-Fi, but it kills the device entirely so it's not able to be used. Just something to be aware of. All right, now into my favorite part of this video, let's check out the speed tests. I'm going to run all of the speed tests we already did with our new ASUS routers. Holy <laughs> These speed tests were incredible. I'll post them up on the screen so you can see. This is what I was getting in the bedroom. The gaming PC, which is directly opposite the bedroom, from my couch, and then finally the outdoor shed. There are two key things that have me really excited about these routers. The first is the drop off speed from router one in the bedroom to where we are here. It was less than 10%. When I compare that with my Aero devices, it's about 50%. The ASUS was so much better. We lost only 10% of speed from that first hop, which is incredible. That then translates into fast speeds for all the other hops. And what I noticed is even in our outdoor shed, where the third router has to go quite some distance through walls, through the backyard, into the shed. What was notable is when I had the Eero device plugged in, my Wi-Fi bar connection went down to two bars, signaling a weak connection. Whereas with the ASUS, it was solid at three bars. As it stands, these devices are amazing. They're going to replace my Eero devices that I have been using for the last couple of years. I'm really excited. If you wanted to pick one of these devices up, I'll leave a link to Amazon down below. It helps the channel out tremendously when you use those links, so thank you. Now, I'm really excited because I've got so much better internet speeds throughout my entire house. But for completeness sake, I am going to pause the video here. I'm going to fast forward and you're going to hear from me after using these every single day for a week. It's been about a week and my opinion still stands. These are absolutely great devices. I'm getting amazing speeds and reliability. I haven't had any dropouts. Now, when I have a look at the results again, I only had a 10% drop off from the bedroom to here, which is the main hop that I care about. For some reason, the hop to the couch, I lost more than the Eero devices did. I can't seem to figure out why, but overall my entire speeds and reliability has improved. I'm gonna keep them as my daily moving forward. Now I will say the one area these Eero devices are better is the style and look. It fits in the palm of your hand and the ASUS devices, while giving better performance, they do take up a larger real estate on your bedside table or your countertop. That is something to be aware of if you really care about the look and feel of your home. In this case, I'm gonna take the performance over the style. Anyway, that was an honest review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.